Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell how to find the least number which must be subtracted from the given number so as to get a perfect square. The same thing we can write like this. Perfect square is equal to given number minus least number. Here we have to find the least number or smallest number. Once we subtract from the given number then we will get perfect square. Here I am going to explain through a flow chart to find the least number and then we will get a perfect square. So first they have given a number by using long division method we can find remainder. So once we get the remainder the same thing we can take as a least number. So with this least number we will subtract from the given number then we will get a perfect square. So now I will explain through a small example. Suppose the given number is 38. If we do long division method for 38, just place a bar for because 38 is uh, having two digits. So then a square number is less than or equal to 38 is 36. So 36 we can write as 6 square. So 6 and 6 here we can write and then subtract this 36 from 38 then we will get 2. So the remainder here is 2. So write remainder here. The same thing we can take as a leash number here. So leash number is nothing but 2. Then from the given number we will subtract this uh, leash number. So 38 minus 2 that is equal to 36. So 36 is the perfect square because 36 we can write as 6 square. This is fourth problem from exercise 3.4 from Manjit Singh book. Find the least number that must be subtracted from 5607 so as to get a perfect square. Also find the square root of the perfect square. Here they have given the number. We have to make this number as a perfect square by subtracting a least number. So we can write the same thing like this. Perfect square is equal to given number minus least number. Given number is 5607 and uh, least number is nothing but the remainder once we do long division method for this number. Let us find the square root of this number by using long division method. So write the number here 5607 and place bars over every two digits starting from unit digit. So 0, 7 place one bar here and 56 one bar here and uh, starting from 56 uh, think a square number that should be less than or equal to 56. So 49 is less than 56 that is a square number. So 49 we can write as 7 square. So 1 7 you can write uh, at divisor place and 1 7 at quotient place. Then the next step we have to subtract 49 from 56 that is 7. So next bring down the next bar digits 0 7. So the, now the number is 707. Now double the divisor here 2 7 are 14 and write the number here. And think a number here and write the same number here. And if you multiply with this number this number that should be less than or equal to 707 so write 4 here and uh, here also then multiply 4 with 144 that is uh, 576 so subtract 576 from 707 then the remainder is 131 see here the remainder is not 0 so this is not a perfect square so once we subtract uh, 131 the remainder from this number then this is the square root of that number so Subtract here least number is equal to 131 that is the reminder. So perfect square is equal to given number minus the least number. So that is 5476. 5, 5607 minus 131 is 5476. So this is the perfect square. So square root of 5476 is equal to the quotient. This is the square root 74. So write 74 here. 